internal speakers, internal microphone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Moon hey. White Wolf. Wait, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Glad you're breaking up. Sorry. I was breaking up. Am I still breaking up? No, you're good. Oh, good. Good. Hey, I'm so I'm so excited that you dropped by and that D. Brian knows you. That's that's awesome. <laughs> like he happened yeah, to be lurking. Pretty cool. Yeah. You're huge. I can't get over how huge you are. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been called huge before. Oh, uh, I mean, you, you know, it's 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 all relative, right? Like I'm, I, I recognize I'm this tiny, f and I also recognize that I'm swimming in an ocean. <laughs> so when I see right. somebody like you come by the channel uh, after I deal with, uh, if I after I deal with these racist trolls day in day out for you know months on end, it's 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 a breath of fresh air. You know, it's like, holy shit, look at that. That's oh, marvelous. Oh, I can relate. Yeah. It's, it's really marvelous. But I, look, I, I want to help you. <laughs> I want to help you because I think I have some ideas that could be of value. But I want a better understanding of where you've been as a broadcaster. Six years, you said. Yeah. Um, well, I was actually on Twitch for five. So I wasn't even streaming that long on Mixer. Um, I just came to it right before it switched from Beam to Mixer. I don't know if you knew about that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, that's how I got the pro account. Grandfather did. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So um, I started streaming on Twitch five, -ish, six years ago, and um, I was on there. I, got, I brought some of my community over from YouTube because I was doing YouTube first, mm -hmm. and then I was on there streaming PVZ, Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare, um, and PopCap noticed me. So I managed to become like an EA influencer Whoa. through that, which was awesome. Oh, yeah. And uh, then I, I guess I started favoring Overwatch over there. And mm. the community was growing. It was doing all right. But it just got to a point where it was stagnant for so long. It felt like I didn't have any potential for growth. Mm. But when I switched over to Mixer, I, I like blew up so quickly because I was always shooting from Xbox. So people were already following me on Xbox. But when I went live on Mixer, they're like, oh, you're also... Over there, so they, they it was easy for them to find me, right? Because they're following me on Xbox, so I yeah. don't know. And the community is really tight here. I just I don't want to spread myself out anymore. I've been doing that for a while, and I just want to be grounded somewhere. And Mixer right now just feels like home to me. Yeah, I mean, it's it is a really tremendous platform. I see massive potential for it. That Microsoft bought Beam really says something. Like Microsoft, <laughs> they're smart cats. They don't yeah. put money in places where it doesn't belong. Exactly. Except for maybe Zune. Like, you know Zune Girl? No. No? <laughs> you don't know Zune Girl? Uh, okay, it's all right. She's she's also, she's with Mixer. I don't know exactly what she does now with Mixer. But she's okay. she's out there in the community. That's She's one of the people who helped like bring me on board and show me some of the ropes. They had a, a stream team back in the day. What but happened? I, I, I don't even know. Like, I, I just, I was spread thin from day one. You know, like I've been multicasting to every single platform because I recognize I'm a late mover. I've got to, I've got to hustle harder than the next guy if I want to make it anywhere in this space right now. It's, right. it's not easy. It's so, it's so competitive because exactly. the barriers to entry are non-existent here. Yeah, and I mean, I was doing that too. I was streaming across uh, three different platforms, Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer before I made like my. Well, I, I waited until I got partnered on Mixer to say, okay, I'm going to do just one channel. Mm -hmm. But I was spreading myself across three different platforms too. You use Restream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was using Restream too. It's a good service and everything's free. Like, why not? Yeah, and it doesn't strain your internet, yep. which is great. Yup. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 kind of awesome because, it, it, shoot, scale is so easy to build in this space. Right? Yeah. For you, are you now a full-time streamer? No, I actually, um, I have been working in television on the side as well. Huh. Uh, I was doing that for five years straight. When I was doing Twitch, I was doing that as well. And I recently branched off to become more of a freelancer so that I could have more time for streaming. So I still do like edit television shows and um, I do commission artwork. I do uh, edit for this other studio, like those dance mm -hmm. performances and stuff. Cool. So I, do, I just do a bunch of different things. What, what type of art do you do? You said you're commission, you do commissions. 
Oh yeah, I draw emotes for people. Oh, okay. Like pixel stuff, or is it more, more? Oh, the stuff I put in your chat, like. Oh, put some more in there. shoot! You, you, you've got to recall. I'm using um, the restream chat, so like. Oh, uh, you can't see it on. Let there. me let me pull up a new browser window. I want to see what you what you made. Okay. I love the creatives. I, I can't see <laughs> myself eventually becoming one. I, I tell people like all I want to do ultimately is just take pictures and write. Okay. Yeah, you've made a lot. You've made man, these are cute. These are cute. I like the potato. <laughs> I like the potato. Do you get a lot of that? <laughs> uh, the potato? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was something my boyfriend came up with. He, was, he <laughs> likes the game Cuphead, and he wanted me to draw the potato, and he said it'd be a funny one to have. So. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I figured that maybe <laughs> maybe if you got wrecked, you know, if you're trying to do the double pump on somebody in Fortnite, and you you missed both. People would just throw down the potatoes. Oh my god. Don't get me started on Fortnite. I raged enough last night. Uh, D. Brian, boyfriend, fuck. <laughs> Come I on, mean, she's a beautiful it's just like woman. The game has been breaking, you know? It's, it, they keep changing the pump shotgun for like in ways that we don't need it changed, so I'm just like that. Gotcha. I don't keep up with it anymore. Uh, I, I mentioned that in the past, all I did was gaming live streams, but. I, I moved the format over to just just IRL. Like this is exclusively what I stream now. Boyfriend, no. <laughs> you got two guys that are like, no, she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jeez, uh, I don't even. I don't even. Uh, it's just I've been out of the gaming space for a while. But I'm glad that you're seeing success just broadcasting gameplay. And oh, on top of that, your art. Can't forget the art. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I honestly just recommend networking more because that's how a lot of people get there. And not everyone likes to share this, but that's how a lot of people break. Um, Absolutely. have to share, like, it, it sadly comes down to people sharing their success with others. Yep. Or you're just going out there and constantly talking to people saying, we should collab or we should do this and that. I know. Um, that'll definitely help. But that's, mm -hmm. that's the way everybody grows, right? If nobody knows you, you just have to like start making some cool stuff and then go to somebody else with your cool stuff and be like, hey, maybe we could bump heads. We could collaborate, like you said. This is how YouTube stars were made. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely it. Um, okay, so you work in television part-time and then yes. you stream part-time. Yes. How did you land a television gig? Um, when I was in school, okay, so I went and studied film, right? Mm. And I was doing gigs on the side. Um, one of the people that I ended up working for during school recommended me to the company that I ended up working for right out of school. So I got an interview before graduating. And then like upon, you know, walking the stage and getting my diploma, my, my boss ended up calling me. My mom answered the phone saying like, when can you come in? So I got, I got really lucky on that. And mm. I ended up working there for five years straight. So That's awesome. Sounds yeah. like sounds like things just just worked out immediately. I mean, I'm in California, so I had a much easier chance out here. You're in California. Whereabouts? Yeah. You're in LA. Yeah, I'm in LA. Oh, nice. I haven't spent very much time out there, but I understand it's uh, it's a very busy city. The traffic busy, there is so... terrible. Yeah, the traffic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm here in Houston, Texas, and it's uh, it's it's pretty bad too. So I try not to go out very much. A uh, bit of a hermit. I'm a bit of a hermit too. Wait. I have another, it's so funny. You're Chinese, I have a Chinese friend. I also have a friend, not the same friend, who lives in Texas. He's a hermit. We have the internet. Well. Like I don't need to go anywhere. I can talk to anybody in the world at any time, as long as they're willing to grant me an <laughs> audience, you know, as you have. Anyhow, how can I how can I help you? If there's one thing that you're like little project that you're working on that you could use some more eyeballs on, anything like that? Oh, because I um, I want right to I want to make myself I useful. A video to the Fortnite. I, I don't know if you saw the replay royale thing. Um, so, I just made a video for that. Okay, that's where did you share this one? Twitter. Twitter. Okay, I'm on your Twitter feed right now, and let me see replay replay royale. My submission to it. A minute, ten seconds long. Let me, um, let me do this. Let me drop it here in my little chat. Hopefully, sometimes restream chat is so, so flaky. Hey, it rendered it right. Cool. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're talking about now. 
Um, shoot, can I pull it up on a phone? I'll pull it up on a phone, that way it's not too loud. But what are you trying to do with this thing? Just trying to get shares on it? Yeah, I mean, just eyeballs, because technically you're just supposed to use the hashtag and it, it gets submitted, but I have a feeling, you know, the more attention the video gets, the more uh, Epic will feel like, oh, that's a potential winner right there. Always, always. Can you imagine how many submissions they deal with? Exactly. So, like, if they're going to just probably use um, the internet to help them decide, like, oh, this has a million views. Clearly, people it. like it a lot. So It's the wisdom of crowds. It's so important. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that I want to leverage. And for, for you, when you when you stream, you probably have, like, a ton of people watching, right? Concurrently, <laughs> I imagine... <laughs> like the it most varies. I've ever dealt with was something like sixty people at once and like forty chatters. It's so hectic. Um. Yeah. Typically, I range between fifty and a hundred. I've been having some slow days this week though, since Mix has been having problems. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so people come in telling me they never got notifications or they can't watch stream. Yeah. So that sucks because that affects obviously how well we do on here. Absolutely, absolutely. The higher you get up on the directory, the better. It's all about that directory. Yeah. Hmm. Outside of this, any other projects that you're working on? Like, uh, broadcast related? I can't, I can't think of anything right now. Gotcha. Cause I'm, I'm just at this point just backed up with work. So I'm just free. I'm just streaming when I'm free, but, oh. um, no, yeah, I can't think of anything. I, I appreciate you like wanting to help so bad though. <laughs> yeah. You're just throwing it out there. I'm a helpful guy, what can I say? <laughs> I'll follow you, helpful guy. <laughs> uh, I should show you, I should show you what I'm working with, but then there's a problem. I've got to, I'll show you afterwards. I'll show you afterwards. It's the best thing to do. Wait, why can't you show me now? Because if I show you right now, then I've got to, oh, okay, I'll do it this, this way. This is the easiest way for me to do it, okay? I realize that I can, this is my command center. I'm sitting over here, um, I'm looking at my 2017 MacBook that's new to me. I just recently got okay. this and uh, like previously I was working with a machine from 2011. It was like pulling teeth, just surfing the web was like pulling teeth. It was awful. Let me show you what this little, this little area looks like. And you'll okay. see, you'll see how I have structured my broadcast. Right. And I don't know, maybe it'll give you some ideas or like, you'll see what I'm trying to do. I, think I noticed I can't turn on the latency, so I'm have to a little bit. It oh, is slow. Got a fish eye lens. I do have a fish eye lens. I'm broadcasting right now from my iPhone 8 Plus. So this is the this is the small setup I'm at. I sp I've been spending more and more time here just because it's so it's just nice to be able to like glance up from my screen and look out in the backyard, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got this little dealio, but it's it, it's, it's really about this. It's really about this. Um, we're looking right now at this machine <sighs> flip. What can I do? What can I do? Um, yeah, I got this, this little small form factor PC in the other day. It's this little box and I have the way things are set up at the moment. I have broadcast going out of my phone across my local area network over to that box and then it get, gets piped through OBS. So the goal, uh -huh. the goal is to be able to take, you know, instead of having to be stuck with like say the Mixer Create app, I recognize that again, being a small fish, I should be on all the platforms. Okay. Yeah. So I'm able to use a, a good app and push the feed through OBS. And from here, the next step is to try to use two copies of OBS, one for FTL and the other for just RTMP. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can get the sub second delay, which would help on Mixer. That's what people are accustomed to seeing on Mixer, right? Because everybody exactly. with an Xbox is doing FTL. Everybody with a phone is typically doing FTL. Every partner is on FTL. So I want to get, get my broadcast production quality up to partner status. And I'm doing this on the cheap. Uh, it's all, it's more or less bootstrapped. You know, we got a few bucks coming in from time to time and the infrastructure is huge. Having good infrastructure is so important. Yeah. I mean, what you got? It's impressive. Always, you always have to work with what you have, you know, and try to get leverage where you can. Mm -hmm. Do you do you personally use credit cards? I'm sorry, what? Do you personally use credit cards? 
Um, I only use credit cards for business expenses. For business expenses. So you have business credit cards? Yeah. Like you've got ones that say moon, moon. Oh, no, no? I don't use my, no. Not yet? No, I, I use the name that, uh, I guess my bank and the IRS would recognize. Oh, you have an L, you have like a LLC formed or something. A what? A C form? No, you have an LLC, like a corporate structure that you've set up or no. Oh no, it's not that complicated. I, it's just basically like a credit card that I use with my own bank account. Oh, okay. Um, so it's all in your name. Just, it's all in your name. It doesn't, it's not a business yeah. card. It's, it's yeah, actually yeah, yeah, a personal yeah. credit card that you're using as a business card. Right. Since I'm a freelancer, I can just write off certain things as business expense. And I just, the way that I, the way that I uh, keep track of what's business expense versus personal is by using my credit cards. I'm separated. Hmm. Okay. I see. That's, that's smart. Okay. I was, if there's one thing, do you, do you use Quicken? No. No? You sh uh, what about Mint? No. <laughs> okay. What about Credit Karma? I have it. I haven't really used it. Use it. Gotcha. Credit Karma is kind of interesting only if you're, you know, trying to open up a new credit account and you want to make sure you're going to get a good card. You want high approval odds for it. But um, D. Brian, D. Brian's my guru and he's the fan of yours that was already like lurking in my stream. So he's been teaching me a lot about like smart consuming and saving money using the appropriate card for your purchases and mm. uh, earning, earning rewards. Like, I don't know about you, but I love to travel and I want to spend, like, I want to have that freedom, that the option to always be able to go wherever the hell I please at a moment's notice. This is a very easy way to do it without having to actually spend a lot of money on your travel. Like every year, if you're a responsible user of credit, you should absolutely have an all expenses paid trip or, you know, just be able to spend nothing but money on local food and experiences. Right. I if wish you, I could travel. I don't have a lot of time to do that. Hopefully, hopefully you can get yourself some time, you know, I just need to find a different job. <laughs> a different the job. The job I have, I have to be like always be available. So I can't travel much. Doesn't it? Doesn't it have a, a cycle to it too? The industry is pretty cyclical too, right? Um. Well, it's more so about if I'm not if I know that I'm not going to make money in one week, that's going to cost me. Right. So I'm constantly just looking for work. Oh, I see. Just because you're you're trying to move freelance. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I I understand. I've been. I've been trying to make it just tough it out on my own for like the past five years and really just living the life of a starving artist. It's uh, not fun. It's not fun being a starving artist. It's so much, it's so much more fun being a, a wealthy artist. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> Man, I, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I, I see your gun. You like guns? Uh, I'm quite a fan. Are, are you gun friendly or anti-gun? I'm not anti-gun, I don't have a gun. Um, I, I like them. I have, I have a handful. You ever shot before? Oh, real? Have you ever shot before? I've shot like blanks out of them on set, but oh. not like a real gun at a shooting range. Hey, that's how Bruce Lee's son got killed. What? <laughs> yeah, you don't know? Did they think there were blanks in it and he shot a robot? There was, there was like an obstruction inside the barrel and they, they weren't using, yeah, there was an obstruction in the barrel. It wasn't cleared by whoever was managing props and mm -hmm. he, he got fatally wounded. Well, I wasn't shooting at a person, so I was in danger of shooting a blank. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I was just shooting, like I wasn't even supposed to be like shooting it out. I don't work in front of the camera, I work behind it. But like it was like downtime, and they're like, "Hey, look at the props!" And it's like, "Oh, you can shoot the gun if you want." I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Just like play around a little bit. Yeah. You ever you ever get to break the uh, the movie glass? No. No, the prop glass. I, I was listening to a radio segment talking about this company that just makes nothing but these prop bottles and like the, the glass panes. It's it's really intriguing. Because it, to think that there's the of course uh, America having this massive media empire that's right like, of course there'd be companies doing that it's it's crazy crazy yeah <laughs> yeah i don't think i'd be ballsy enough to have like own a gun mm, it's it's a it's a bit of a liability 
to be sh to be sure it's a liability because you, you know you, you got to make sure that it doesn't walk away on you if it walks away then you're in trouble what does walk away on you mean like so so it's one of the things that i think about here i i live in a suburb and you know i i realize i need to bolster home security i need to lock things down because i can't always be rolling around with my guns you know like if I'm, if right. I'm leaving town for a while, yeah, I'm gonna lock up my guns. I'm gonna keep them in like the trunk of my car or something. You know, take them to a friend's place where I can just deposit them and know that they'll be they'll be watched over. But it, you know, anybody who knows that you own guns, if they know where you rest at, they can just case the place, find out when you're away from home on the regular, and then just like walk in and take your shit and go. And they have guns now. So I personally, I, I find it kind of amusing how a lot of folks have like these NRA stickers where they'll, they'll put up signs that say like, we don't, we don't call the police, we shoot, or like here we don't call the police, just things like this, you know? Like when you signal, <laughs> yeah, when you signal so publicly, there are guns here, you're just making yourself a target. I don't do that. Interesting. But it's, you know, it's just something to think about. If, if you so were, do you like mm -hmm. collecting them for visuals? Do you take them out to like a range? Um, it's, for me, it wasn't ever like collecting for visual sake, but I discovered that using them for, for visual effect is really helpful. It's so helpful. Like I was able to go from zero to, you know, 30 to 60, just by having the gun up front and center while I was broadcasting and I was playing music. I was doing all the things you're not supposed to do. Just playing copyrighted music, right. During the entire <laughs> session. And, um, you know, interacting with folks that came by. If somebody said hi, like, hey, welcome. You know, why do you have a gun there? And I had to make an exclamation mark gun. For me, it's it's just recognizing that because other members of society can own these own these tools, if I was ever involved in a force on force scenario, it behooves me to own my own firearm and keep it at the ready. Right? Okay. It's better to have it and not have to use it than be in a situation where having it would help you, but just because I was anti-gun, I don't have a gun, you know, like I don't know, I just got to run and hide and uh, hope that the police will show up. They've got 10 minutes to try and find me. Okay. Have you been in the military? Never have I ever, but I was in a Boy Scouts. That counts, right? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Sure. Kind of. I laughed so hard that they brought like guns to the Boy Scouts. That's where I shot my first gun. I was at a scout camp, summer camp. Are you serious? Yeah, it was a it was a bolt action twenty two. It was a lot of fun. Wait, did a who brought that? It was just it was just this thing at the camp. They had an archery range and they had a they had a rifle range. They were just back to back. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a merit badge. There's like it's I, I don't know what it's called, but you know they they encourage marksmanship because Boy Scouts got to be ready for anything, you know. Just be prepared. Well, yeah, Girl Scouts didn't have that. <laughs> but they make Girl Scouts have excellent cookies. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think these days scouting has changed. Like Girl Scouts can join the Boy Scouts or something. I can't, oh, really? It's there's oh. something going on here. It's like it's 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 wild. <laughs> America's a wild mm. place. Ah. Hey, for you, if you could be anywhere in the world, where would you go? Like, where would you want to live? Where would I want to live? Yeah, if you could live anywhere. I mean, sadly, because I haven't left the country yet, I can't really... I, I don't really have experience, but I'd probably honestly just go to Canada so that I wouldn't be too far from my family. Okay. Kunikistan. Uh, <laughs> wait, what'd you say? What'd you say? Kunikistan. <laughs> uh, I mean, Canada's Canada pretty cool. Or like Hawaii. Oh, uh, Hawaii is awesome. You've, have you ever been out there? No, but I hear a lot of great things. Like I know people who've been out there. Oh my god! There. Oh my god! Let me let me keep talking with you and like get you to sign up for these credit cards and then <laughs> get you out to Hawaii by the end of this year. <laughs> I want you to go out there and just like take your broadcast on the road with you. Oh, to show your so people what it's at. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 gorgeous. I have family out there. My my grandfather's buried there. And uh Aww. Yeah, he's out on what is this? The gathering place. 
Yeah. First member of my family, I think, to be buried in the States. Do you uh, go there often? I've been there twice now, and, and I want to make another stop there sometime this quarter. By the end of this quarter, I want to make a stop in Hawaii. Because my, my grandmother, she's still alive, but she's not in good health. I want to spend some time with her and just capture her stories. And I'd be happy to do it on stream if she was she was willing, you know? Yeah. And if not, I'll just I'll just record her voice and just capture that oral tradition because it's so important. I want something that I can, you know, give to my kids and be like, yeah, that was that was my grandmother, that was your great grandmother. These are the stories she told. Aww. Yeah, that's important. But Hawaii is great. Um, really, really great place. Cost of living is high, but you're used to that already. I'm freaking used to that in LA, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to get used to it. Um, otherwise, BC is really cool. It's chill. You said DC? BC, British Columbia. Oh, BC. Yeah, I've never, oh, yeah. I don't know anything about that place. You should go. It's not too far away. Not too far away. We'll set you up right. <laughs> I, I promise you, I will not mislead you. That's like the one thing that I'm here to do is to try to just like let people become more aware of the fact that there's so many ways to just like go wherever you want, when you want. Like there are a lot of guys that are already right about this, but I'm glad I get the opportunity to talk to someone like you, you know, potentially make a difference for you. Cause Aww. if you want to go, you should go by all means. I want to see you there. I mean, I'm actually going to Sweden soon. But that's not something I paid for. What are you headed out there for? Sort of. If I might ask. Um, I'm not really allowed to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you're not allowed to say, don't say. Don't say. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I want to I wanna record some stuff out there, but I can't really say exactly what I'm going out to Sweden. It's a, it's a work thing? Yeah. For your job? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, uh, hopefully it's a great time. How long are you going to be out there? Four days. It's gonna be your first time leaving the country. Excited? So, yeah, I'm so excited. And uh, when is this taking place again? You said when? Yeah. I think like next week. Next week, holy moly. I hope you got your passport ready. Oh, I already had my passport like a few years ago because I was supposed to go to Canada, but then I ended up falling through. Are they flying you out on business or economy? Um, let me check my ticket. All right. See how much money they spent on me. I got time. I'm just gonna kick back. I'm just gonna lean back. <laughs> See where would it be? Yeah, boy. Economy, not business. I've, I've flown business before. Mm. Domestically only. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that I like, one of my mantras for quarter one was fuck economy. I said, Wait, you said you should look at <clears throat> No, 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 no. One of my mantras for quarter one was fuck economy. Oh, like, fuck economy. <laughs> yeah, like no more flying in the cheap seats, you know? And oh, I... I'm, I'm by no means a wealthy man, right? I just have good credit and I intend to leverage that. <laughs> I intend to leverage that responsibly <laughs> because... It... I didn't know that affected it. Oh, um, it affects your ability to get these sign-up bonuses. And the sign-up bonuses are money. Like when you're okay. game for travel, they're huge. It's it's trivial, relatively trivial. Like every I don't know, I feel like it's 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 a no brainer. It's really a no brainer. If you have good credit, you should do it. Okay. But that's But if I can travel. <laughs> but if you can travel, don't worry. If you can't, you can still sell you can still sell off the points and get money out of it. It's money in your pocket no matter what. Oh for real? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's essentially free money. That's what I've been, um, it's one of the things I'm working towards to show people where all the low hanging fruit is because I've been grabbing it for the past, you know, uh, like the past month, I've just been grabbing low hanging fruit because uh, I'm tired of being a starving artist. I want to live better. Ugh, me too. I'll show you the way. Cause I got, I got the guru and he's a fan of yours. I'm sure that he'd love to be of service too. Is he still there? I think so. Deep Brian, you here? 
Remember, it's gonna take like 10 seconds. <laughs> I can't stand the delay. Yeah, I forgot when you have Restream, you can't even use FTL on Mixer. Mm, yeah, but the, okay, so the cool thing is like where I'm at, my neighborhood's got gigabit fiber laid down and I'm on it. Ooh. So I don't sweat the bandwidth, you know, it's just about having a local computing power to pull it off. My whole shtick yeah. is I have to be able to broadcast to all of my channels while I'm in China. You broke out. I, broke, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, my, my shtick is I've got to be able to hit all of my channels while I'm in China. Right. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'm, you know, like, I want to take, I want to take people to places where I grew up. I want to show them some of the, some of my old places, like the old haunts. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did you show us around your house already? Mm. I, I've taken I've taken the camera around the house many many times. It's just the the trouble is let me do this. I can take you around, but it's gonna be delayed, right? I'll just narrate for you. I'll pick up the call on my other phone, <laughs> and then okay. that way that way it will still be here for stream audio. Let me do this, okay? Join. I just saw you pick up your phone. Uh oh. Mic check. Okay, here, let me switch this over to speaker. One more time, please. One more time, please. Oh, one more time what? Oh. Mic check, yeah, go ahead. Talk, okay, talk. yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna be okay. I'll just like boost it up to the max. And I'll take you around. Alrighty. I'll show you the space. Um, beyond that, doorway lies my bedroom and we spend less time there now it's just a place of rest piano over here in the corner upright I'm classically trained I have this station which is for processing paper I'm declaring war on paper I'm gonna rid my <laughs> life of paper <laughs> I'm sick and tired oh, of paper and this 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 is my workstation it's a flaky bitch and I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it because it's it was causing me to tear my hair out. I want to be able to use this. It's my most powerful computer, but it's kind of out of commission right now. And if I have to part it out and get rid of everything, that's fine. I don't mind. No loss. This is my play space. Okay. I have awesome. home workout, gym please. consisting of the power rack. And I've got, I don't even know how much weight we have now. We've got like 400 plus pounds of weights available, a really great bar, Rogue, who's really, really tight about their affiliate program, which sucks. Um, this is a standing desk setup. This is where I typically broadcast from. And this this little machine is the one that's currently responsible for pushing the stream out to the, the internets. Zippo lighter for scale. Okay. I do. It's the sit stand type. Got four memory options made by this company or marketed by Autonomous. It was a really good value. Really happy with this. And. You have a ring light too. Sorry? You have a ring light. I just got mine. The, um, the which one? The ring light next to your stand. Oh, the desk. ring light. The ring lights are awesome. Yeah, it's because I used to do broadcast. Uh, I used to broadcast fitness sessions, uh, workout sessions for my home gym. I was doing that for like six, seven months. Why'd you stop? Uh, I stopped because that like, okay. Um, a couple of things, projects and the desire to go achieve financial independence outweighed my desire to just look good for the camera, you know? Plus it's not like I'm making money <laughs> off my looks, you know? Right. If I was, then that'd be different. It would just be like, yeah, I have got to take care of myself. I have to be lifting. Instead, it's just a hobby. Like it's something I enjoy doing. Just like I have no delusions of becoming a performance pianist. Right. But it, it'd be cool. It'd be cool to just like play a few things at a world class level, and that'd be like a little thing I can pull out of my back pocket whenever. Uh, one thing that I'll be doing a bit more of is cooking. I've got this little cooking business I want to spin up. Yes. Yo, yeah. Who are you gonna cook? Um, meat. It's all gonna be meat. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're not a vegetarian. Nope. That's cool. Nope. Yeah. I do Korean barbecue as much as I can. That's awesome. This is the backyard. It's a beautiful day. Like, it's one of these... It's been really, really nice this spring. Usually it gets pretty lousy over here. Really hot and humid. And mosquitoes. You guys are having to deal with the cold and then hot and cold and hot? Uh, we've, we've been dealing with that too. Houston had... I had snow over here twice over the winter. And, like, snow to where it stayed on the ground and it didn't melt right away. And that's highly unusual here. Oh, what a pretty yard. Thank you. Thank you. I love the space. It's just good to look out on it. And uh, here's a photo I took. This is a photo from the University of Tulsa looking out over the Tulsa skyline. This is a really bad crop. In the left side of the frame, there's actually a lightning bolt, but the crop was so shit that I lost the lightning bolt. So I've been wanting to give this away to somebody just because it's a bad print. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see the photo now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll it's do... to see the lightning, I see. We'll do this. This, this comes from Sichuan. My parents lived there for a while, and I got to visit uh, at least two occasions. Chantou. They do embroidery there. I thought this was just really lovely. So I picked it up. I'm a fan of German automobiles. It's the E46. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the photo right, right oh, now that you're the wall. <laughs> of course, I know you're not looking at the car and like, oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing the car yet. Still waiting for that. Ten seconds. A blue okay. room. It's a weird color, isn't it? I actually like it. It is calming. Yeah. This Wait, is... did you not pick the color? No. So it's like when I when we bought the house, the the previous owners had painted the entire master suite this this kind of blue green, and there was a room upstairs that was yellow. Yeah, we painted over that yellow one. And then, you know, as I came into this one, I was like, I experienced what it was like to paint that yellow room. This room is freaking huge. I don't want to go through <laughs> all that trouble. You know, like one day I'll get a paint sprayer and I'll just do it up. But until then, I'm going to stay in a blue room. What color do you want? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know yet. I haven't thought that far. I really haven't. What this room looks good way? in the sunlight. It um, does. It does. It's it's just a really relaxing color. Yeah. It's calming, but it's a little odd. It's a highly unconventional color. <laughs> I've been with white walls my entire life. I haven't really had any colored walls before. Yeah. The name looks like, oh, puppy. Oh, 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 puppy. He, this is Paul. Paul the Yorkie. Paul? Oh, yeah. It's my brother's name. <laughs> it's a good Christian name. Oh, yeah. Hey, Paul. Label. Hey, kid. You're oh, in the bathroom. The bathroom's that color, too. Interesting. Yep. And the, the master closet's such a mess, I can't possibly take you inside. You would be like, holy shit, this guy. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to do a tour of my house? My house is gross, too. There's a lot of cleaning. Hey, the, the, the trick to getting the cleaning done is you just make it really simple. Like, keep less stuff and then get one of these. The robots. I inherited hoarding from my mom. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you. I call it the immigrant mentality. <laughs> like I joke about it. Just like, oh yeah, it's the immigrant mentality. We hold on to everything. But get your I'm one of those like robots. holding onto a box saying I might use it later. Exactly. Like, look at this. It's terrible. Yeesh. Look, I got boxes, boxes, old stuff, boxes, boxes, old files. I'm going to... This year, by the end of this year, I want everything just to be super, super lean. Like, have you, uh, are you familiar with the Steve Jobs' story? Uh, what exactly about him? Well, when he got into his first big house, his first mansion, if you will, he just, he had a very, very pared down existence. Like, little to no furniture, except for the essentials. You know, like mattress oh. on the floor type stuff. 
and it's not glamorous, but uh, let me switch over to, let me switch over here. It's not, it's not glamorous, but it's, it works. It gets the job done. Right. Yeah. And space, having open areas is so important. It just leads to feelings of better health, relaxation. You don't feel like you're suffocating under the weight of all of these things. Yeah. I don't even know. I, don't, I can't picture myself in the mansion, to be honest. It's just too much space for me. And I feel like I will fill up all that space with stuff. That's the, that's the thing not to do, right? When you have the mansion, if you decide that's what you want, don't fill it up with shit. Easier said than done. <laughs> I know, but you just, gotta, you just gotta know what's important to you, right? If you know what's important to you, then, you know, you, you'll think a moment before you just like, the consumer mentality is a trap, right? This idea that we have to keep buying things in order to make ourselves feel good and be happy. It's a okay. terrible thing. Reality is less is oftentimes more. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. True, true. Anyhow, by the end of the year, I'll get it clean. And then maybe I'll do like a house tour video after I get it set up to be a streamer house. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Sir, All good. Well, I mean, it's been delightful talking with you. If there's, uh, if there's any way I can help, you know, let me know. If you're interested to learn more about what's out there, as far as getting to Hawaii, going up to Canada, I'll, I'll shoot you a little resource or two, get you started. Oh, thank you. Some good reading material, you know, for when you're on the toilet next. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It costs me nothing. You know, <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity to, to really talk and get to know people like you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and let me know if you need help too, man. Like, I'm, I'm a part of the Mixer community because I feel like, you know, everyone here is so tight and they, they understand the grind. They understand having to fight with all that competition being on Twitch and YouTube. So <laughs> yeah. spreading that love is like... I don't know, essential here. It's the underdogs. Like I said, I would love to make partner, but I want to get my broadcast up to its partner quality, you know? And then I will feel very comfortable. Um, I don't know how, how I would possibly ask for help from somebody like you. I don't know what I could ask for, you know? That's the thing. There's so much <laughs> out there to do, but I, it's, a tip, it's the iceberg, right? I have no idea what it takes to go from where I'm at to mixer partner like you've done, especially um, with no previously established presence. Like you had EA influencer. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it's really about kind of like be out here, like who, you know, you just got to talk to more people, man. Like get people to want to share your story, get people to want to work with you, uh, stream with you, do a video with you. Um, I'll like retweet stuff of yours. If you're working on anything too. Mm. But the more people you can get to do that, the better, you know? Of course, just um, be everywhere. Yeah, be absolutely everywhere. Have a social presence. Like me, me not being on Instagram for years kind of bit me in the butt, I feel like. Yeah. I, you saw I re just recently started it up, so. I did see. I, I think I dropped you to follow. <laughs> you did? Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'm hap I'll happily follow you, just so I can, I can see what you get yourself up to next. <laughs> Cause you're huge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know in my mind you saying that was like calling me fat. I'm not offended or anything, but that was like the first thing that came to mind. I was like, rude. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> like, yeah. No, I, I think by and large, um, I know how to communicate with, with men and women both. <laughs> I, I try to be a good person, you know, <laughs> but sometimes I'm a bad guy. I'm a terrible guy. Behind closed what? doors. Awful. Awful human being. Behind closed doors. <laughs> Better not be. Mm, you know, I try. I try. I'll put my best effort into anything. If I care about <laughs> it. If I don't, then I'm just like, you can rot. I don't care. Every now and then you have lazy. Lazy days. Lazy? 
Uh, <laughs> one of my defining characteristics, lazy. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no kidding. Like my uncle once he was like, you know what, Yeti, you're lazy. And I said, thank you. You're right. Like you are absolutely right. I'm a lazy guy. And I think <laughs> that's perfectly life. fine. In fact, I embrace this. You know, I embrace the fact that I'm lazy, but man, it's all about that grind. Like if people, if people knew a fraction of what it took for you to go from zero to partner on a platform from zero to 2000 Twitter followers, like it's everything takes time. Rome was not built in a day. And exactly. they, if they only see you resting because you've been working your ass off at every other opportunity, they're going to think you're lazy. So I just say, yeah, if that's what you think, all right, I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> I have no interest in trying to argue with you, dude. <laughs> I love you, uncle. I know you care. Um, you know, I'll see you out in Hawaii sometime. I'll come visit. <laughs> Aw, I didn't realize the whole time you were just talking about your uncle. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm serious. Family's like, I'm the black sheep of the family. Aw. That's okay. I'll do good in my time. I hope yes, I'm kind of a black sheep too. Everybody stayed in Maryland and I came out to California to do all this. California. So you, you, your family's up in the, the Northeast, you said? No, not Northeast. Yeah. Maryland. Maryland. Just That's why you were you like, when I said BC, you instinctively just jumped for DC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. Yep. What do they do? All right, man. I'm just curious. What about what? What did what did your parents do? If they're still um, working. Um. Well, my mom was an artist. She worked in fashion for a little bit, and then eventually just worked worked in um. I forgot what she did for a school. She wasn't a teacher, but she did work in education. And my father was a musician and worked in tech. He did like computer work. Hmm. That's really cool. So they're both creatives. Yeah. You're not a black I mean, sheep at all. Come on. Well, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, amongst my entire family, but uh, none of them also like really have gotten degrees. None of them really left Maryland. None of them, you know, really went out and pursued what they wanted to do. Some of like my dad and my mom had some stuff that was conveniently there, mm -hmm. but it didn't last for very long. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm trying to keep it going. You can do it. I want to see you get to all these cool places. I'm so excited that you're going out to Sweden as your first trip outside of the country. That's that's yeah. really cool. Thanks, man. I know you can't talk about it yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to tune in, you know, eight days from now and see what you're up to. Yeah, I have to share it. Like, oh, the, yeah. NDA, the NDA was vague, and usually it releases at some point, yeah, yeah. what I can say. Of course, of course. I, I've never had to sign one of those in my life, but I understand you have to respect <laughs> them. Yeah, usually I'll last too long, so. Gotcha. Well, it sounded like you had something else to do. Thank you again for your time. It's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, no, yeah. That was, it was great talking to you, man. It's great meeting you. <laughs> Likewise. Glad right. you stopped by. I'll talk to you later, man. All right. Be safe out there. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.